Recently, I went on a trip overseas to a few countries before arriving in the Philippines. And despite my reasons for being business, I visited Alaminos, Pangasinan to take time off in the clear waters and white sands of the Hundred Islands, and it was a trip well worth it. I haven't been in this place for close to a decade and things have changed. A lot. I actually regretted having to go to Alaminos before my trip because I remembered having unpleasant memories here. They spoke a different dialect that I couldn't understand and it was really provincial to me. I suppose I was too young to really enjoy the beauty of nature then, so this was really different. Though this time, this province, isn't as provincial as I remembered it to be. Gone are the dirt roads, and now replaced by highways, the sari-sari tindahans are now full-on department stores, and street food vendors have gone full bloom with professional logos and modernized stores. And though the face might have changed, the community still feels provincial in a sense that they still hold tradition dear to their hearts. Well, when I was visiting here, it also happened to be the Fiesta of St. Joseph, the patron saint of Alaminos. I don't know much about this tradition, so I asked Monsignor Ray Ragudos from St. Joseph Cathedral Parish about the fiesta. We celebrate in the church the feast of the saints. Each parish is usually named after a saint. So this parish, since 1610, its patron saint is St. Joseph. The legend goes that during the creation of Alaminos, a blind grave digger saw a carpenter with his tools smiling as he wandered the lands of where Alaminos is now today. There were three neighboring villages that were once part of a bigger community, but split because of feuds. After hearing what the grave digger said, the village elders believed he was lying and decided to follow him anyways to prove him wrong. Then, during the night time, St. Joseph was said to have appeared to the village elders, to which they made amends with each other and decided to reunite the villages to become Alaminos. The Augustinian recollects, led by Father Fray Cristobal de Castro and Father Andres del Spirito Santo, introduced St. Joseph to be the patron saint of Alaminos, which was called then before as Sarapsa. The Fiesta of St. Joseph is a month-long celebration where the first half of the month is more of a spiritual aspect and the second half being more of, well, a party. The church leads the celebration, and the celebration is more of a spiritual, communal uh, celebration. And they commemorate this with a parade. This is when Alaminos and neighboring districts and provinces bring their patron saints to parade through the main streets. It's a sign of gratitude to their religious roots. The great devotion of the people to St. Joseph produced this kind of relationship that uh, people would always take refuge through St. Joseph. It is then that from this night until the end of the month, there are parties and events that happen all over the city. There are locally televised contests, beauty pageants, dance troops performing, and what you might even call food raves. There was one in particular that I fell in love with called Purple Plate Pizza. It's a pizzeria based out of Alaminos with a truly Pinoy feel, with pies that incorporate Alaminos' most iconic food, the longanisa, and it was incredibly delicious. Also, Pangasinan, the province where Alaminos is in, is the home of Hundred Islands, an extremely popular and beautiful tourist spot in the Philippines. These islands contain beaches of pure white sands that are so fine it never heats up, as well as super clear waters that span for miles. And though despite the name being Hundred Islands, these islands are actually ancient corals that extend well inland in an area previously compromising of a seabed long ago. The lowering of the sea level has exposed these collections of islands and corals to the surface. There will be another video on the channel of my trip around the islands, so if you'd like to see it and see more, please do so. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you guys are considering visiting the Philippines, I highly urge you to do so. It is fairly easy to get around as most people speak English, even in the province, and there's a lot of stuff that you can do here for cheap. And if you've been to the Philippines, please let me know in the comments below where you've been. I'm planning to take the rest of the group here next year, so I'd like to hear some recommendations. And again, thanks for watching, guys.